Boys and girls, welcome to another brigade session. Uh, I am glad to have you here. I'm Sir Morris, and I am glad that you clicked on this video because you are about to learn something exciting, something educational, something very uh, important to you. And today we are going to have some dancing. But before we get to dancing, we need to start the devotion. And before we get to the devotion, we also need to start with a word of prayer. So let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for helping us to wake up in the morning, Lord. We thank you for the gift of life, for health, Lord, for strength to wake up in the morning and to come here to learn your word, Lord. We ask that you may help us to understand your word, Lord, we ask that you may help us to learn from it, Lord, that you may help us to put it into practice, Lord. Even as we go to our session of dancing, Lord, we ask that you may protect us from harm, Lord. Let us uh, enjoy our dancing as we dance for you, Lord, as we learn a dance that we, we will praise you with, Lord. We ask that you may be with us this day, even as we finalize our week. We ask that you may be with us even as we start another, as we are about to start another week. We ask that you may walk with us, guide us, and protect us, Lord. For it is in Jesus' name I pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. Now, our devotion for today is going to come from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6. Okay? If you have your Bible close by, you can open it, you can use it as we read together. We are reading the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6. And I'm using the Good News Bible, and it says, Don't worry about anything, but in all your prayers, ask God for what you need, always asking Him with a thankful heart. I'm going to read that again. Don't worry about anything, but in all your prayers, ask God for what you need. Always asking him with a thankful heart. That's the word of the Lord for today. And when you, when you read this verse, it's, ask, it's telling you not to worry about anything. Other versions say, do not be troubled. So I ask you, what is troubling you? What might be troubling you? It might be the, an exam that you're about to do. Is it an exam troubling you? Or it might be anything else. Now, whatever it might, it might be, the Bible tells us, do not be worried by that thing. Do not be worried by that exam. Okay? Do not be worried by that, that problem that you're having. Do not be worried. Yeah? By, by anything, to not be troubled by anything. But it also tells us, you know, to, 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 as we pray, we should give or we should uh, bring that problem forth to God. Yeah? That you may bring it forth to God that he may help you out. You know, as you get old, as you grow older, the more you have things to worry about. The, the older you get, the more, uh, the more you have a lot to worry about. You know, you, if, you, if you look at your parents, they have a lot to worry about. They have you to take care of. They have bills. They have their work. You know, they have a lot in their minds. To, you know, a lot they are thinking about each and every day. But the Bible tells us, do not be worried about those things. But in prayer, give them to God. Okay? There's this song. Uh, that that goes uh, that uh, goes. What a friend we have in Jesus. We all know it. And there's there's a part that that uh, says that take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. You know all your troubles, all those burdens, and what it encourages you. You know when you're carrying something in your heart. When we when you look at something like forgiveness. When you, are, when you don't forgive some, someone, you carry that, that hate or 
uh, that that bad thing that you they did to you, you carry it within you, and it often becomes too heavy to bear. But the Bible tells us, or even in this song that we sing, what a friend we have in Jesus, it tells us that we should not carry that burden. Don't carry that burden in your heart. Do not be worried by that burden. Don't be worried by that problem that is in your life. But take it to God. When you pray, take it to God. You know, take it to God. Ask, ask for what you need. You know, and when we read this, this, this verse, it, it's telling us that, but uh, in all your prayers, ask God for what you need. What do you need? You know, the, a problem usually comes when you need something. You know, have you ever noticed that a problem comes when you need something? When, you, ha when you, you have an exam, you need to pass. And that's, the, that's where the problem comes in. You need to pass. And that's why you're worried that you won't pass. When you, you, you're, uh, there's someone who might, who might need a, a, a pair of shoes, you know. They, they, need to, they need to look good. They need uh, a pair of shoes so that they are not uh, injured on the way. You know, they, there's always... Uh, there's always that, that need for something when there's a problem, okay? And it tells us, ask for what you need. You know, if, 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 uh, if, it's, if it's getting a certain, let's say you wanted, uh, you wanted 400 marks in your, uh, when, you, when you did your, your exams, you wanted 400 marks, you know, in the final exam, yeah? And... And that's what you need. If that is, that is what is going to make your problem go away or make what, or make what is worrying you go away, ask for that. Pray for that thing. Okay? If, if getting a pair of shoes is going to solve that problem, that you have, that worry that you're having, ask for that. Okay? Pray for that item that you need. If it's health, if your health is, uh, you know, if, you, if you're, ha you're ill or if you're sick, you know, that sickness is the problem that you're having. And when you, when, uh, when, when you, okay, if, if, that pro, if that sickness is the problem that you're having, what is, the, what is the solution? What is going to make it better? It's getting well, right? It's getting well, regaining your health. That's what, that is what is going to make, make your problem go away, right? So ask God for that. Thing. Ask God for good health. Ask God that you, for that recovery. Right? So, ask God for what you need. And then it goes on to say, uh, always asking him with a thankful heart. You don't uh, ask God, you know, uh, you don't ask God for things while complaining. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot to be thankful for. Even if you have that problem, there's a lot to be thankful for. That's why when we pray, even if we are praying for something, we have to be thankful for what we have. You know, you might you might not have a, you might not have a pen today, or a book, you know, or something else. Yeah, you might not have a phone, but there's something that you have. You have health. You have strength. You're healthy. You know, you are alive. You know, you can breathe. You always say that when you're, when you're playing in the field and somehow you trip, you know, it's always, you know, it's a bad thing. Yes, umianguka, but be thankful that you even have a leg ya kutegwa, ukona mgu ya kutegwa, right? Yeah, be thankful that you have that leg, right? Because there's someone who does not have that leg. So even, if, even when things are looking... Yeah, very bad, things are not going well, be thankful that you have something else. There's that good thing that you should, you have that is worth thanking God for. Right? So don't complain to God, but ask in a joyful or in a, in a thankful heart. So, number one, what we've learned is, what have we learned? Number one is do not be troubled, do not be worried, not worry about anything. Oh. Don't stress. You know, God tells us, you know, I, I know you have a problem, but, you know, don't stress. I, I got you. I got you. You know, God tells us that don't, don't stress. 
do not have do not be troubled about anything yeah but give it unto god through prayer and when you're asking what for what you need you know ask with that with that thankful heart so let us learn to do that let us learn not to worry let us learn to pray to god and pray for the problems that you are having and be thankful for the what we have in jesus name amen amen so let us pray let us uh, finish finish the devotion session with a word of prayer as we prepare our bodies our legs our hands our bodies yeah, to dance for the lord let us pray dear lord thank you for your word thank you for for this day lord thank you for for giving us that beautiful message that we should not worry about anything we that we should give all our problems unto you and you will handle them lord we ask that you may help us to put this word into practice to not just learn it but to always do according to it lord help us not to worry help us to learn to pray more to you and to always be open with you and to always be thankful for what we have lord even as we start a new week we ask that you may be with us walk with us guide us and protect us lord for it is in jesus name i pray trust in and believe in amen amen Now boys and girls welcome to our dance session uh, I believe you seen that dance that we are going to be learning today I know it seems a bit difficult but it's very simple so before we get to the dance I want us to stretch first to stretch a bit I want you to find some free space around your house you know or wherever you may be make sure you you don't have uh, some anything around you make sure you have some free space so that you don't hit that thermos and break it because you know if you break it you're going to have a long day okay so don't break it okay get some free space all right then after you've gotten some free space i believe you've gotten it now i want us to raise this hand this is my right hand uh, you can start with the left one if you want but i'm using my right one you're going to go up just like so down this other side go slowly slowly uh, and just to stretch this part okay so you're just stretching then we do this like that left right left right all right so i want to you to put your hands right here and I want us to go down be down oh. all right all right then we go the front be like that ah. now I believe you are all stretched okay now I want us to work on the legs because we also need to stretch the legs a bit okay so for the legs I want us to you lift your leg like this oh you know, like this and hold it with both your hands eh kwa wale eh watu wakamunyeso yeah you are you are going to have a hard time here but you know try 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 holding your leg like this then like this okay okay then you put it down let's do the same for the for the next leg do it like this for a while like that then put it like that and then down okay okay so i want us to go down like that touch the floor with your with your fingers like that and touch behind there with your fingers like that okay then i want you to touch your right leg with your left hand like that and the same for the other side like that okay okay so i want us to do five star jumps and then we start the dancing okay so let's go one to go star jumps one two 
three, four, five. Okay. Now our first move for today, for our dance, is going to be a very simple move. Basically, is it's like mark timing. For those in brigade, you know, you know how mark timing is. You for the boys, you know, your leg has to be 90, 90 degrees angled. You have to get that. Yeah, 90 degrees angle. Okay, so it's the same. You just right, left, right, left, right, left. And now as you do that, your hands go down. Okay, and they go down like this. All right. So we we start from the left. As we go, one to go. We go left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right. And that's the first move. It's done. See, I told you it was simple today. I told you today it's simple. Higher. We go to the next move. After we've gone, we are starting in the left leg, remember? Go left, right, left, right. Then we step down, okay? So, uh, when we finish, we are doing four times. We are going, we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to, as we step down on the fourth, you know, after we've done the fourth one and we are stepping down, we are going to go, just go down like that. Okay? So it's just that. Just that. Bending your knees a little like that. Like that. Like that. Remember, you've gone, you've gone one, two, three, four, then like that, okay? Like that, okay? And as you do that now, this is where it's, it gets a little, just a slightly complication, slight complication, okay? So as you go down, your hand goes up, okay? Just, just a slight complication. Your hand goes up like that, like that, okay? Like that, like that. Okay, you see how, what I'm doing? Like that. As my knees goes, as I go down, my hand goes up. Like that. So you're doing like that. Okay? So here's, here's the complication now. You're going up, then as you go, okay, you're going down as your hand goes up, and as you go up, your hand comes at the center, and then as you go down again, it goes back. Okay? So basically you're doing one, Two, okay? One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, okay? And we are going to do it four times. So we are going to do this one four times. And then we are going to do this one four times, okay? So let's start from the first one. One, to go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you are with us up to that point and you've been able to do that, clap for yourselves, okay? Now, we go to the third move. The third move is very simple, okay? After that complication, you don't need another complication. You want something simple now, okay? So, this is simple. It's just basically stepping forward and again and again and again, okay? We do that, we are doing that four times on this side and four times on this side. So we are going, just step, 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 step. And see, I'm going down as I step, okay? There's that down movement on my knees, okay? So I'm going one, two, three, four, okay? So one, Two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to the right and then to the left. Okay, and as I do that, my hand just, you know, just goes. You can, you can, you can do something different with your hands. You can do this if you are able to do that, or you can do something like, like that. Okay. Amma, 
Eh? Just something, just something to enjoy yourself. Just enjoy yourself as you as you do that move. So we do it from the first one, then we continue. Okay, from the from the top we go one, two, three. Let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the third one. Now we get to the last move, which is a very awesome. I'm telling you, if you do this in front of people, they're going to be wowed by it, okay? Okay, but we all know we are doing it to praise the Lord, okay? Don't forget why you are doing it, okay? All right, so here's the last move. I'm going to do it, then I'm going to take you step by step. So you're basically doing that, that. That, 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 that. Now, if you do it fast enough, it's going to look like your arms are going round and round, okay? It's like you don't have some, some uh, you have some uh, bolts over here going like this, eh? <laughs> so you have some screws over here lo which are loose, yeah? But it looks great, okay? So, basically, what this is what we are doing. Uh, after we've gone to you finish this one you're just going to go one okay one you see the way i'm doing i'm first of all doing my legs like this you see that leg movement like that then i just move that with my hands so it looks like i'm pulling this leg like that like that okay like that and we are going to do the same one to this side like that so if, you, if you've gotten that movement, that movement, just practice it. I know you'll have time to practice all this. Once you've, you've practiced this and you've gotten it, the next move will be very simple for you. Because after we've done that, the next move is just to move your hands like this and again like that. And then just do that. Okay? Okay? Got on that? So it's going one, one, two, and two. Okay? So one, you go like that, two. Okay? I count it as one and two because this will be in between. Okay? So it's going to be one, two. Okay? So it's one. Two. In fact, we, we, we don't even need to do it twice. We're going to do it once, like that. So, one, two. One, two. You don't even need to do it twice. You can even just do it once, like that. Okay? So, but but overall, the beat will tell, okay? The beat that we are moving on, the pace that we are moving on, or we are moving with, will tell, okay? It will tell you what, how many times you can do it. So, we are going to do this... Uh, how many times? We're going to do it eight times, okay? So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we start. I know it seems, oh, we can even do it four times to make it simple, okay? We can do it four times. Let's do it four times to make it simple, right? One, two, three, four, okay? So, I believe everyone has gotten it up to that point. We do it from the first one together, right? All right, are you ready? Let's go. Wow, wow, wow. That was a wonderful set. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've learned those dance moves. You know, you can uh, dance, you can you can even create some more moves and add to it, create a routine, you know, dance it in church or anywhere else. You know, enjoy yourselves. 
and I hope you you learned something today. I hope you've not watched this video from start to end and not gone with it with, with, with anything. I hope you have learned. I hope you have enjoyed. I know I have enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time in this same place in this uh, same session. I hope uh, you enjoy your week, and I hope that you are blessed this week, this year. Have a lovely week. Goodbye.